Hello guys, and welcome to episode 46 of my Total War Warhammer 3 Immortal Empires campaign, playing as the Sisters of Twilight, leading the Heralds of Ariel and the Wood Elves to world domination. Today we're going to be starting by attacking Valanduil. He is moving towards Maku Peaks, and it looks like they might reinforce us if we make this attack. They are indeed. Uh, this army is actually not very strong at all. So we will auto-resolve this, and we'll carry on. Alright. We're getting ever closer to engaging the Lizardmen in combat. We want them to hate us. Uh, they currently don't like us a lot because we broke treaties. We have been breaking a lot of treaties lately, just so that we can start declaring war on everyone. Our reliability rating is still very high though, so that's good. <laughs> Just wanted to check that. That means we can have more control over who we kill and when. We actually have Gentleman Jenkins right next to Te uh, Tevorel. So let's just kill him off. Should be a pretty easy battle. We've got Blade Singers in front of Waywatchers with great stag knights on the flanks. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't stand a chance. Uh, we will just order resolve that one and carry on. So that's the free booters dealt with. Almost tempted to grab that treasure since we're in range. Also, it will put us in a position where we'll have more replenishment. Uh, let's do perform better in campaign. Ah, that sucks. I was hoping we'd get like replenishment rate or we'd get... Uh, movement range, which would have been ideal. Right, let's head on to Magical Reserves so we can get Arcane Conduit. Uh, actually, we might not be able to get it just yet because it needs four points, and I think that was only three. And Arden, he's still chilling. Uh, we are currently four turns from the Ritual Rebirth being complete here. Okay, Knight of the Ordai. Uh, let's go to Rally, that's fine. We actually leveled up twice. We'll grab Horus Raw. He needs Tree Kin Treeman. Yeah, when they get to rank seven, they'll benefit from that. Okay. Silence worm. At Harkaldra, we're going to be popping in the Waystone. We can upgrade the outpost of Zufbar. That is fine. All right, let's move on to the next turn. We're actually bringing our money into line a bit better, which means that we might be able to actually get the Forest Dragon army building soon, which would be really cool. We are not going to be signing any military access with you. And they're going to trigger the war with Cathay. Like, the, the Wood Elf Cathay war is actually going to be pretty big. We have Malice attacking Orliaruth. Interesting. It actually is going to be a closer battle than I thought it would be. Uh, it's nice that he's come to us, though, as well. That's good. Let's jump on in, play it out. Hopefully I can get my rifles on target. Okay, uh, so we'll just start deployment. Uh, we will have my mortars right at the front. Uh, we'll have all of these other ones set up further forwards as well. We'll have my hand gunners in like square formations, makes them easier to use. We'll have my archers chilling behind those. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have just a wall on both sides of the treekin. And then we're going to make little gaps for our hand gunners to move up and use. We'll just have two in the middle here, that's fine, and then one here. So we can have little gaps that the hand gunners can move up and uh, use to engage the enemy. We'll also push the war dancers up to the center there. I think that's fine. Otherwise. We just move these up, not too far. 
but enough that they can see what they're shooting at. Go! Eager and ready. At pace. I'm gonna set up the Deepwood Scouts on either side as well. So these are just creating a wall to fend off against the flanking attacks. That is the plan. I will find it. For the queen. Maybe we can get some good shots on Malice early on, that would be nice. Good damage. Very good damage. He might actually just pop Zarkan. <laughs> he went straight into it. That's good. That's really good. And the Treekin are going to have a hard time, but he will slowly disintegrate. Right, we're gonna have to deal with these units behind us. Let's pop a uh, one of these out, a Deepwood Scout. That can help deal with the cold one nights. They are already dead. Good. Alright, we can shoot Sarkam. He's put himself in a really good position for us. Uh, on the flank here, we're going to want to attack the Cold One Knights. We're going to want to fall back from that. Right, meanwhile, uh, we'll drop down the Assault of Stone. And I'm going to drop down the of Shades. Alright, brilliant. Deepwood archers. Loose. Alright, we're holding on okay. Raw magic uh, let's just move him forwards. And we're gonna put down the defense. We also have the dwellers below we can place down on these black guard. So we'll do that. And then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna place Put of shades on the dark shards. Hand gunners, ready to fire. Bowman, ready. A speed for the eternal realms. Now, ready to weave. I'm going to drop a Malkos on these. That should kill off some of the models. My front line here has been hit pretty hard. My actual handgunners are getting killed off by the dark shards, I just realized. This mortar is not really doing much, is it? Wow, those Treekin are in a bad spot. So is that one. Sarkhan still going as well. Surprised. Bows of Athaloran. Loose. By Kernos. And we're just gonna put all our arrows into the Black Guard, kill them off. The dark trees blow. Are we done? A couple of my units really took a lot of damage. The song. Right, we're going to have to get behind Sarkhan and shoot him in the back. Let's just shoot the uh, Calibdis while it has the missile resistance debuff. Kill that off. And now we'll go and surround Sarkhan. Right, let's have any units that are getting low out of there. Let's get into a position where I can shoot him in the back. 
or in the front. Alright, here we go. Getting some good shots in. When I have the Prey of Anathrema ready again, we can use that against them. Guard as well. Deepwood archers. Okay, let's keep him there. He's actually hit his regen cap a lot throughout this. Yeah. Alright, we got him. Nice. <laughs> Good old Malice. I swear he is a nightmare to kill in battle. Well, at least we didn't lose any units entirely. That's good. Oh, we can take the replenishment, get them obey. topped off, and his army is pretty much entirely wiped out, so that's really good. Get rid of that little army. Very nice. Good underway interception. There are a lot of factions on the brink of just being wiped out right now. But the Chill Road is under attack. We have Othiodai having to fight off Valkia. And we also have Regnus and Jarl Mammoth Rider. Okay, let's go. As long as there's not too many ranged forces, yeah, this should be absolutely fine. One thing that's nice about the AI attacking me is it's incredibly efficient because it saves me movement range hunting them down. I can just go somewhere else uh, after the battle. Uh, what we're going to do uh, this battle, though, is we are just going to run forwards and engage Valkyrie ASAP. We go. Get right in there. Get stuck in. We have enough treatment that the giants shouldn't really be a problem. And we can just constantly drop Locker Dooms. Although I might have to land Elena so she doesn't get wrecked by this manticore. So I'm just targeting the same unit. Uh, we will use some heals. Oh, yeah, let's get the block of doom down. And we're going to want to start dealing with Valkyrie here. Valkyrie is actually going to be kind of difficult for us to kill. If my Treeman don't focus her. My Treeman I kind of want spread out as well so the Dryads don't just get wrecked. I'm going to put down the curse. The curse is really nice because it reduces the melee attack, melee defense, allows my units to get way more damage in. And in a big melee like this, that is very important. You can see these manticores absolutely melting. out on their own by the looks of things. Got left behind in this engagement on the side. The dryads are easily replaceable so I'm not too concerned about that. If these treemen start getting low that's when we need to be worried. But for now I think they've just healed off whenever Othiodai has been casting spells. Get rid of 
reinforcements are coming in. As Valkyra. There she is. Valkyra okay, has such cool animations. Actually, healing a reasonable amount. We'll probably try and focus her a bit more. We have a more or less surrounded with Treeman, so it should be okay. Is not fun magic. And again, I can imagine Block of Dooms on repeat would get quite annoying. We can just finish off the giant here, maybe. Would be good. Might Treyman just like headbutt the giant? <laughs> it looked like he did. I don't know if that was actually the case, but it looked, it looked that way. Oh, he just like punched him. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that looks funny. Giant versus Treeman. Oh, okay. He had by me. Maybe that's what I saw. Okay, so it's really going in for those headbutts, eh? Oh, he's a goner. He's a goner. Hitting Valkyrie is the problem because she's such a small model and we have like rip loads of big units. She just kind of like doesn't get hit very often. With uh, Othioda actually hitting her, seems like she does take a decent amount of damage. I wonder if an Amber Spear would do that much damage. I haven't really tried it into like a crowd of units like this. No, it's terrible. Just as I thought. Wonder if I can get a lamentation of despair off on her. Doesn't seem like it. Well, that's pretty much it. We just need to speed it up. And that will be game over. Arki is dead. Jolly good.
We're just going to get all on top of this guy. Meanwhile, we'll heal a little bit. I kind of want to right click her in here because I can't let him get out of this otherwise he'll just run away. Is he, I think he is on a horse. Oh no he's not on a horse, okay never mind he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. I'm hoping that this destroys the sector army. That's why I chased it down. All right, nice one off the old day. We did lose a unit of dryads, unfortunately. Uh, we're just gonna take replenishment here. You have caused untold harm. Ooh. Don't think you can make up for it. Torox is back. Hello. Okay. Storthorn tribe back in our lands. It's kind of annoying the location. But hopefully maybe Kalador deals with him. Guess we'll see. <laughs> Goodbye to one of Torox's armies. <laughs> so silly. And there goes Wintertooth. Come to offer me your scale. Athel Lauren bids you greetings. Uh, they want me to join the war against Corn. Gonna happen just yet. Yeah. Right, Hi, we've already Oliaruth got the armor-piercing weapon damage from Malus. Confederation. Interesting. Uh, was that here? Yeah, that was the Thousand Moors confederating, wasn't it? Hey, the Slaughterhorn tribe's dead already. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Let's go for the Shrine of Sotek now with Othiodai here. And we'll head over to his sisters so that we can continue our turn. Uh, we're going to go and kill Kugath again. Let's go. And this... Is it walled? I don't think it is. No, but it is like a settlement battle of some sort. It's okay. Find Kugath, snipe him down. Lots of fun battles today, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and get these ready to go. We'll pop them into two groups as we usually do. Uh, these can all kind of chill. Unless we need them later on. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we are going to have to take out the Rotfly, so we'll just charge them in the skies. My Meanwhile, I'll allow her to allow the sisters to engage some stuff on the ground. I think his rock flies are just running away. The air battle commence. Actually taking quite a lot of damage from the exalted uh, plague bearers there, I think. But they do also have the soul grinders we're going to kill sooner or later. Battle. 
All right, spread out. And we're gonna shoot the soul grinder. And what I'm gonna do, I don't know if it's gonna work, but see if we can get Kurgath with all of these. Might be a waste. Uh, it looks like they hit pretty well, to be honest. <laughs> Now we shoot him for the rest of his HP. Yeah, it would have, probably would have been more efficient to just shoot him. The abilities are probably more valuable on units that have a lot of entities. Kill the spawn of Nurgle. And killing them earlier on is actually good because they are unbreakable and they have a decent amount of health. But I'm going to have to kill them anyway, but killing them earlier on means I might not have to kill as many other things. And Nurgle just can't do anything against this because they barely have any range. Like they have the exalted plague bearers, which have some like ranged attacks, but other than that, it's just just nothing. Literally nothing. I'm gonna shoot the plague toads. Large entity is easy to hit. And they have a decent amount of health. abilities as we go just to get the extra damage in I think the ones we hit further away are generally better because the shots kind of come in low and, and do a lot of damage that way. Just kind of wait now. Yeah, we can get damage on the cultists, that's good. Good idea. The Nurglings might as well. Alright, let's just charge down into the plague bearers. Get all of those. And that's it. Okay, 
Jobs are good. <laughs> I think we lost one or two eagles because of plague, exalted plague barrows, but otherwise we'll go good. Fourteen thousand in the bank from that, almost fifteen thousand. Uh, we could raise this. Nah, we'll just take it. And right, we're going to want to kill off those two armies, and then we're going to want to take Dragonfang Mount. I think that's going to be the end of Nurgle then, which is good. Another faction taken care of. I like it a lot. Okay. Uh, she actually leveled up twice. <laughs> Over to Othiode. You took a beating last turn. Or under siege here. Okay. Gonna have another battle to do then. Let's just put the points in. And off we go. Slice of victory. I'll take it. Loses me some dryads, but that's an army taken care of. That's another army. Actually, that looks like Valkyr's rebuilt army, actually. I would like to go take Grond, but uh, I guess we'll just do this first. Damn, I did not expect to be able to get a decisive victory out of that with low casualties. Very nice. How's Grond looking on the old garrison? Not that good, but we don't have many ranged forces. Or well, not ranged forces, um, many... Um, I, I don't even know what I was trying to say there. I thought like something to do with range. <laughs> maybe, maybe they're ranged forces. We can take that very easily, actually, so I will just sort of resolve that as well. Damn. Othiodai, go in ham. Very nice indeed. I think what I was trying to say was that they didn't have many ranged forces, but I realized that like halfway through my sentence. <laughs> so I just brain farted hard. All right, anyway, uh, moving on. We could get perenniality. We don't need more than the forest raw unless we take shield of the forest to get the dryad bonus, but most of my dryads keep dying, so that's kind of pointless. Uh, we could get regrowth upgrade. Regrowth upgrade is actually not too bad because it does reduce the cost of it. And then I think we'll do maybe two in perenniality. Alright, she's leveled up as well. Get wound. Okay, and over to Findol. Alright, uh, Findol obviously took the sacred pools previously. We're going to be fixing that up nicely. Need to get these growth buildings in there. Should have probably built the growth building first. All right, with that done, uh, we're going to come down towards Quetzal. Right, over to Orion, who is going to be still recruiting for a little while. Just waiting for Ariel to come back. And then we have a Lendling, who is going to jump his way over to Karagarud. And hopefully we'll see Kairos die. Okay, meanwhile, in the Cursed Jungle, we will put the Herb Gatherer's Camp in there. The reason I'm going for a little bit of extra income is just so that we can finally get that Forest Dragon Army going. Can I declare war on the last defenders without them hating me? Or without breaking reliability rating? Uh, six turns. Okay, well what we can do then is we can chill in their lands and get trespassing penalty. And I can just raid them, honestly. And they'll just get annoyed at me. Maybe they'll declare war. Okay, over to Daith.
Not sure quite what we want to do with Daith. Uh, maybe we just attack the Heralds of the Tempest while we're here. Let's see. Heralds of the Tempest. Can we declare war on you? Are you a god? Without invoking any penalties. We can. Alright, let's do it. So we'll go deal with them next. We'll go up to the Great Skolex and start from there. Oh, that's Kolek. Interesting. Okay, we got to finish off Koval. He was taking control after we killed Malus. Let's go get him. Ooh. We'll have to play this one out. A bit annoying, but I don't want to lose that Treekin. The Treekin's important. I wouldn't have cared if it was just the War Dancers, but yeah, the Treekin's actually important. Should be over very quickly. Uh, we will just go over here with everything we got. Start the deployment, start the battle. I'm just going to line up these. Okay, cool. My mortar's potentially in a bad spot. I'll just cover it off with my low health units here. And the mortar was firing at the cold one chariot. Great targeting. Okay. For the most part, we should just disintegrate them with arrows and... Gonna engage him in front. We're gonna get these way watchers to appear. And we'll just shoot him in the back. Dumbly. Uh oh. That's not good. No, I'm gonna lose my handgunners. No that was a mistake. It doesn't matter. It does matter, but it doesn't matter. That was lazy. Losing my handgunners there really sucks. We can replace them for sure, but they're not going to be high rank anymore. Okie dokie. Uh, let's just go with the replenishment. And then when we come on land, we can recruit some more. What is that army? Disgusting. I'm actually going to come over here just so we can get replenishment. And then we can also do the recruitment. These are Reichland ones, aren't they? Let's just grab a new one. Growth and life. Corner Master is good. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, just to finish up, is we're going to start building the Forest Dragon Army. Where can I build forest dragons? At Val's Anvil. Let's do it. Trying to think. Probably want... Ayarak, I think, is a good choice. Ooh, Ara. Would be nice. Do we already have an Ara? I think we do. Yeah, we've got Ara the Treeman. I think we're going to take Ayarak because he's strong. 
And basically what this this army is going to be is him on his his dragon and he's going to buff dragons. Uh, let's not do it all at once. We'll do this, this. We won't need Eye of Karnas. I think we just go melee attack and wings. Good. Just pop him in there. You called? It's gonna be a little while until he has his own dragon, but until then, he can be carried around by the forest dragons. This army is gonna cost an absolute bomb. Like even if I Global recruit like this. Yeah, it's going to go to five turns regardless. It'll take five turns to recruit. We already increased this a lot, but look at this upkeep. It's going to go from 338 to one, 11,138. So we're going to go up to what? Like 20 minus 27,000 a turn, which is pretty nuts. Oh, this is exciting. We have a battle against Grimgore with Dryker. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We had a lot of battles today. So, yeah, we're going to leave it here. And in the next episode, we can take the fight to Grimgore. That'll be good fun. All right, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.